1936, the newly elected Spanish Republican government asked Juan Pablo Picasso to create a painting for the Spanish Pavilion in the World's Fair that would take place the following year in Paris. The subject of the fair was modern technology and art, but Picasso opted for a more political subject. The event that inspired Picasso's masterpiece, Guernica, took place on April 26, 1937, in the thick of the Spanish Civil War, when German fighter planes started a senseless air raid that lasted three hours, decimating the innocent town of Guernica in Spain. The purpose of the raid was nothing more than Nazi intimidation tactics and target practice. So naturally, when Picasso heard about this horrific event, he decided to take action. Standing at 11 feet tall and 25 feet long, this painting is a very enormous depiction of the brutality of war. Picasso was commissioned to do the work even though he was still living in Paris at the time and hadn't been back to Spain since 1934. That's three years before the bombing of Guernica. Apparently a procrastinator, Picasso started the piece at the last minute. He completed it in just over a month and even played around with a few different variations of the painting before landing on the final look. The German guidebook to the World's Fair exhibitions advised against visiting the piece, calling it a hodgepodge of body parts that any four-year-old could have painted. In the 1970s, the painting was vandalized by an anti-war activist who spray-painted the words, kill all lies, on the piece. Thank you so much for watching everybody and make sure to visit sardle.com, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to see more of the fun, exciting and slightly scandalous history of art.